Okay, so here are the ingredients for my yakitori. Over here we have the big green onions and we're just going to use the white part. And I'm using chopsticks. I have a lot of chopsticks at home. So I'm just going to soak these in water for about uh, 20 minutes. And we have boneless chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast, but the thigh has more flavor. And Japanese people love to eat the thigh in general for this dish. And we have some cooking oil here. Um, this is water, about a quarter cup of water. Um, soy sauce, a half a cup of soy sauce. And this is mirin, a special kind of Japanese um, what is it kind of like it tastes kind of like alcohol slash vinegar slash sugary taste so this is called mirin and this is half cup mirin and quarter cup japanese sake and a tablespoon of sugar over here and this is what the cooking sake looks like japanese cooking sake and this is what mirin looks like in a bottle all right so I'm going to go ahead and put some pepper and um, pepper and salt on this chicken and then I'm going to put them on the skewers and assemble it all for you guys to see all right so stay tuned Okay, so for the yakitori sauce, I'm going to pour all of this in, soy sauce, water, sugar, sake, and marine. And I'm just going to put this to boil, and then I'm going to put this. Side, just like so for some additional flavor 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 so allow this to get um, just slightly thick so you can use it to um, coat the uh, chicken thighs on the skewers all right okay so let's go ahead and assemble the ingredients for the yakitori uh, as you can see the sauce is all nice and reduced so let's take a piece of the chicken here stick it here and then fold it over on itself and then you do that one more time Right, so then you get a piece of this scallion, you stick it on. I should be using skewers, but hey, another piece, fold it onto itself, fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. Come on, come on. Right, here we go. Oh. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Let's get another piece. And I think I'm going to put this one at the top. Okay, this looks good. Here and I'll top it off. Top it off with this one. Come on. This is the problem with using chopsticks, but 
I don't want to buy any skewers when I have all this chopstick at home. Oh, this cannot actually take one more. Alright guys, so my yakitori skewers are all ready. And then I'm going to put them in the oven. I don't have a grill, so I'm just going to utilize my oven to get these babies going. Okay! Alright guys, so our yakitori is all done. So what I'm going to do now is I have some of the sauce left over. So what I'm doing is just rolling the rest in the sauce and I'm going to plate. So this is all you have to do. And it's done. This is so delicious. Oh my God, you guys should try this. It's very simple. Just, what, five ingredients? The sauce, the marin, uh, the sake, soy sauce, sugar, and a little bit of water for the sauce. And then you just get the onions and the chicken breast, and that's it. That's it. If you don't have mirin, any alcohol will suffice or sake, that would suffice. So I'm just going to plate this now. And voila. There you have it. Japanese yakitori. My kitchen is literally so small, you guys. Oh my god, but I'm so happy that this turned out great. It's my first try. I do think that the um, chicken pieces are a little bit too big. So the next time I do it, I will cut them smaller so that, you know, it'll be, uh, what you call it, a little more a neater on the stick but i love how these turns out and it's delicious all right so you guys should definitely try this uh recipe at home please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on instagram at danny annie 10 i love you for watching see you in my next video bye